Hello everyone, here is a question from exercise 2.1, third question, chapter is fraction decimal of class 7. Question is, multiply and reduce to lowest form. So we have around 10 questions here where we have to multiply them and reduce it. So reduce means we have to do the cancellation if possible and bring it to the lowest form. So it's not necessary that every number can be cancelled here, if possible we have to cancel. So we have 7 into 3 by 5. So you can see that we cannot cancel a number. Now remember when you're cancelling it, you have to cancel a number which is present in the numerator and denominator. It's okay if it is present in some other numerators like here 7 and 5. As like 7 is in numerator, 5 is in denominator. We can cancel these two numbers if possible. It's not possible to cancel the numbers in the numerator. That is we cannot cancel these two numbers here. Okay. So let's uh, multiply them. Since we cannot cancel any number here, we're going to just multiply. Remember the 7 is given here, but it is in numerator. Right? This is a numerator. When you're multiplying, it gets multiplied with a numerator that is 3 here. Right? So this is equal to 7, 3 is a 21. So 21 upon 5. Now 21 upon 5 is an improper fraction. What is improper fraction? Whenever the numerator is greater than denominator, it's called improper fraction. And every improper fraction can be written in a mixed form, whether it's a mixed fraction. So I'm going to convert this into mixed fraction. Denominator we have 5, so here also we're going to have a same 5. Now here we have to find out the whole number, what will come here. So you can see we have a 20, we have to look for the number which is close to 20. 21 doesn't go in 5 table, otherwise we would have cancelled it. Since it doesn't go, we have to look for the number which is closer to 20. So we know that 5, 4 are 20, right? So here 5, 4 will come, right? So 5, 4 are 20. So, we, but we have a 21. So, how much remainder is left? 21 minus 20, it's 1. So, 1 will be the numerator. It's like you should multiply these two numbers and then add up with the numerator. You should get this number. So, 4 for the 20, 20 plus 1 is 21. If this thing is confusing you, you can just divide it. You can divide 21 by 5. So, 5 fours are 20. When you subtract it, the remainder is 1. So this question to what you got will be your whole number and the remainder what you got will be your numerator. You can do this since you are in higher class, you are in 7th class, you can directly do it. If in case uh, it's difficult for you, you can go with the division 1. Now let's continue with the second question. So 4 into 1 by 3. In this case also we cannot cancel numbers, so just multiply them. So 4 ones are 4 multiplied upon 3. So again this is improper fraction. We have to write this in a mixed fraction. So this will be, we have a 3 in the denominator. So the closest number to 4 is 3 itself. 3 ones are 3. So 3 ones are 3. Okay, 1's are 3. So what? how much is the remainder? It's 1. So 1 we're going to get here. So 3 1's are 3 we got. And 4 minus 3 is 1. So 3 will co come in the numerator. Then the next one. We have a 2 multiplied by 6 by 7. Now here also we cannot cancel any numbers. We cannot cancel 6 or 7. We cannot cancel 2 or 7. So we're going to multiply this numbers. So multiply the numerator. 6 2s are 12. So 12 by 7. This is an improper fraction. Convert this into mixed fraction. So we're going to get this 7 here. We know that 7 2s are 14. But we have a 12 here. So we're going to take 7 1s are 7. So 7 1s are 7. So how much is the remainder? 12 minus 7 when you do it you will get 5. So 5 will be the numerator. So 1 5 upon 7 is the answer. Then the next question. We are doing fourth one now. We have 5 multiplied by 2 by 9. Now again here also we cannot cancel it, we cannot reduce it. So we're going to multiply the numerators 5 and 2 which is 10. So 10 by 9, this is also improper fraction. So convert this into mixed fraction. So we have a 10 here and we have 9 in the denominator. So 9 ones are 9. So 10 minus 9 is 1. So 1 is a numerator. Then the next one, we have fifth question which is uh, 2 by 3 upon 4. So 2 by 3 multiplied by 4. Right. Here also we cannot cancel numbers. We are going to multiply the numerators. It will become 8 by 2 fours are 8 and denominator will be 3. So convert this into mixed fraction. We have a 8 here 
and we know 3 2s are 6 so 3 2s are 6 now subtract it 8 minus 6 is 2 so 2 will be the numerator then the next one sixth question we have 5 by 2 multiplied by 6 here we can reduce it if possible you can reduce here itself you can multiply and you can reduce it that is cancel you can cancel it or if you want to reduce here itself you can do it you can cancel 2 and 6 see 2 is in denominator 6 is in numerator we can cancel these two numbers so there are two ways you multiply these two numbers 5 6 are 30 you will get 30 by 2 and you can do the cancellation or here itself you can cancel it so i just prefer cancelling here itself because the multiplication will be easy so 2 ones are 2 uh, and 2 3s are 6 so you will get uh, 5 3s are 15 as an answer but in the question they have given that multiply and reduce it so first they want us to multiply and then reduce it so you can do one thing just multiply and then you reduce it in case they have not given multiply they have just given to reduce and get the answer you can do the cancellation before so it is 5 by 2 multiplied by 6 so multiplying first so 5 6 are 30 30 by 2 we can cancel the number because 30 is a even number it goes in two table 2 ones are 2 2 ones are 2 1 is a remainder that makes a number 10 2 fives are 10 so this is equal to 15 then the next one seventh one we have 11 multiplied by 4 by 7 we cannot cancel number here so 11 fours are 44 44 by 7 now we're going to convert this into mixed fraction we know that 6 7s are is 42. We have 44 here. We have to take a number smaller than that. 6 7s are 7, 6 are 42, 7 and 6 here. So 44 minus 42 when you do it, the remainder will be 2. So 2 will be the numerator. The next 8th question. So 20 multiplied by 4 by 5. So let's multiply the numerator 20 and 4. So it will be 80. 80 divided by 5. Now 80 like it's a it's end with a 0. So it goes in 5 tables. So cancel them. 5 ones are 5. So 5 ones are 5. So 8 minus 5 is a 3 right. So 3 is a remainder. I'm going to put it along with 0. That makes a number 30. And 5 6 are 30. So this is equal to 16. So this is my way of cancelling the numbers. If you have your own way of cancellation or you have your own technique, you can go with that. You're going to get the same answer. Then the next one, ninth one. 13 multiplied by 1 by 3. We cannot cancel them, so multiply. So 13 ones are 13, so 13 upon 3. So this is equal to, so 3 4s are 12, right? So 3 4s are 12. So 13 minus 12 is 1. So 4 1 upon 3 is the answer. Then we have a last question now. That's the 10th one. 15 multiplied by 3 by 5. So this is multiply this two number. 15 3 is a 45. So 45 divided by 5. So 5 ones are 5 nines are. So 9 is the answer. So that's it. I hope these questions are clear. In case you have further questions or doubts, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.